compositions, layers, rasters, and vectors. Okay, lots to this video. Here I have a Photoshop document that has two layers. As an orange square and a green circle. They're on two different layers, and I can have them labeled layer one and layer two. All right, so I saved this out. This is a 1920 by 1080 document, and I'm saving it as photo circle. These are raster, okay? So anything dealing with Photoshop is raster. Therefore, when I zoom in on it, get close enough to it, you see this. Stair steps. Now, Illustrator, I have two layers. If I zoom in on these, you don't see that. The fact is these are vectors, so you will not see them pixelate because there's no such thing as pixelation of vectors. Just have to kill those outside edge borders real quick. There we go. They are two layers, and I'm going to save this as. Okay. In here, I'm going to make a new composition. I want the new composition to be 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. And I'll import those in. So let's look at importing uh, the vectors, the illustrator. In this case, I'm going to hit open and I'm going to choose composition. Okay. Here I have now a little circle and if I double click on it look what I have the two layers I can touch layer one and move it around and I can touch layer two and move it around okay because it's a composition okay let's go back to comp one let's import the other one in this time the Photoshop with the two shapes Again, this is a composition, editable layer styles, live Photoshop 3D, sure. Another composition, another two different things that I can move around. So as long as you bring them in as compositions, they maintain their layers. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the little circle, drag that down, and the photo circle, drag that down, and look at them side by side. We're going to zoom in and you'll see that there's not much difference. Once they hit After Effects, they raster. Okay, so because After Effects is not a vector program. There are things that you can do, however, and it's hard for me to show this because of my screen size being captured right now. But trust me when I say, if I go into Little Circle and I go to these, okay, here's the two layers. If I click on one of these and go to Interpret Footage, I can go to More Options and choose More Accurate. Unfortunately, as I said, I will not be able to reach the OK button below, so I cannot lock this in. But you would be able to because your capture your your screen isn't as low as mine. So in a sense, we can make vectors look better in um, After Effects only because we have the choice to anti-alias them. And you can see that sort of now. Here's here's what it looks like. Okay, and just to match them up. not much difference because of that button. So when dealing with rasters, you're dealing with resolution. When dealing with vectors, you're dealing with no resolution. If you wanted that raster to look better, you could say 300 DPI. But look at your width and height now. It's 8000 by 4500, so it raised it up quite a bit. It went from 103 megs from 5.9. Huge. So it all depends what you're doing. 
I personally like using vector graphics inside um, After Effects when I'm dealing with shape. When I'm dealing with gradients, I deal with rasters. So that's the two. But know that if you bring them in as a composition, you have full use of their layers. And that's what I'm trying to get at also. So that is vector versus raster and composition and layers within Illustrator and Photoshop. Enjoy.